So, in Halls of Torment, you have gold. It's a currency that you can use in a shop that is going to give you permanent stat upgrades. And in this video, we're going to be going through how you can farm gold to get it very, very easy. And we're going to start off with the archer, because the movement speed is 5.5 meters per second, which is an entire 1 meter per second faster than the cleric, and it's 0.5 faster than the swordsman. But the difference is, each level up, you are going to get 0.2% extra movement speed. You want to be moving as fast as you can. So after selecting this hero, we're going to go to the shop. I'm going to refund all of my upgrades. And then what we're going to do is we're going to buff up the movement speed as much as we can. And then what we are going to do is go into a run. You want movement speed because we're basically going to be roaming around this map as quick as we possibly can. So you're going to go onto the first map. And when you are in... What you are basically doing is looking for all of the breakable barrels and stuff. So if we just kind of stick to the one direction for movement, we're, like, we'll start off going left a little bit, get a couple of kills, maybe a level up or two, because we do want a little bit of extra damage as well. We don't want to be just like limited to base stats for damage, because things will get tougher, and you want to get as far into the run as you possibly can. And what we are going to do is 0.3 meters a second base movement speed, because then we're moving even quicker. And then let's just say, for an example, we'll go down. So what we're going to do is we're going to move down. And while we are moving down, I will take here the damage. While we're moving down, we're going to be breaking every single barrel and stuff that we find, because these are what's going to contain your gold. And you're not going to get a lot of gold from these. You'll see in some of the barrels we're getting like one gold as a drop. But what we can do by going down is make it to the scroll. And when we pick that up, we will get an extra ability that we can use. So it's going to help us out and remove as much of that need to get weapon upgrades, like damage upgrades and stuff. So you basically just keep going in the same direction. The, the map is never ending, like it just constantly scrolls. So you can just keep going down every single breakable you see, make sure you destroy it. And it's not just gold you're going to get from these barrels either. You're going to get healing items. You'll see there we got 25 gold out of that one barrel. You're going to get healing items, you'll get damage buffs and stuff, you'll get magnets which will pull all the XP orbs and stuff towards you. So another thing I recommend doing as well is as you're roaming around, if you look towards the edge of your screen, you want to look for like an orange tint, which will signal there's like a fire pit nearby. And when you find those fire pits, there are typically some really good barrels and crates nearby. So I recommend heading towards the direction of the light basically and get the extra gold from them crates and barrels that'll be near the fire pits. And you'll see there at the end of a run on the Haunted Caverns, we got over 4,000 gold for a single run. But it also depends on your torment score, your survival time. So you get 1,800 for the full half an hour. You'll see that we gathered over 1,300 gold. And you'll see here on the right hand side on the completed quests, we've got Trained Archer and Archery Master 2. So they're 750 gold each. So reach level 60 with the Archer, 750 gold. Crit enemies 20,000 times in a single run, 750 gold. So focus on your quests as well. They're separate to this gold total, by the way. This gold total is literally the amount you collected, your survival time and your score. So there's an extra 1500 right there for just doing quests as you're playing through the runs. So after that one run, we have ended up with over 6,000 gold, which is going to be really, really helpful for buying things in the Shrine of Blessings. And I think the best way to do the quests is to let them come naturally. I think your focus needs to be like, to get the best amount of gold in a single run. Your focus needs to be building up that movement speed, getting around the map, like running in one direction and destroying all the barrels and stuff that you come across. So that was how to farm gold easy in Halls of Torment. And what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.